Outside Paris's famous Louvre Museum on Wednesday, visitors and staff were getting to grips with the new COVID-19 health pass, known here as the Pass Sanitaire. You now need proof of vaccination on your phone or in printed form to get in. The only other way is to provide evidence of a negative test. It applies to all major sporting and cultural venues and anywhere where more than 50 people gather. But next month, the requirement will spread to bars, restaurants, public transport and even shopping centres. And that's what's proving controversial. The government insists it's the only way to confront the latest surge in cases. Yesterday, there were 18,000 new infections in only 24 hours. It means that the spread of the virus has increased by 150 percent over a week. We have never seen this before, not with COVID-19, neither with the English variant, nor the South African, nor the Brazilian. Despite the case numbers, there have been widespread protests from those who claim the health pass is an assault on basic freedoms. The theme is about the absence of freedom that is unfortunately continuing to grow in this country. That's it. They're taking away our freedoms little by little. Vaccinated or not, we are all together. It's going too far. If we let this go, it opens the door to lots of other things. And it's very serious for our humanity and for the French people. President Emmanuel Macron announced the pass earlier this month, as well as compulsory vaccination for all health workers by September. There have been high levels of vaccine hesitancy in France, but since the announcement, hundreds of thousands of people have come forward to be inoculated. Polls suggest a majority supports the new pass, but there are plans for more demonstrations across the country this weekend as France heads into its traditional holiday season. It could be one long, hot summer. Simon McGregor Wood, TRT World.